place. It's like no, talking no, about I mean, it, it's got to do with the President of the United States is clamping down on everybody. No, you know, all regulations are not bad no matter what the Republicans say. Well, he just clamped down on microwaves again. Too, so. But this is old cam. And this is not a spring chicken, as you can tell. We're going to be talking about microwaves today. Yeah. Because? Our government has decided that they're going to teach people a valuable lesson about using microwaves because here is what they come out with this morning. Only the wealthy are eating well. And the people that don't have a lot of, uh, uh, you know, a lot of discretionary money to spend, they're popping things into microwaves and they're eating things that are too fatty. And, uh, and that you're going to fast food places where they're microwaving your food and, you're, and you're basically you're not getting the best pieces because microwaving is not good for you. They don't microwave food at fast food, do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't they use microwaves to heat the food up. Yeah, but here's, here's one of those things. It reminds me of when we first started hearing about Bluetooth. You know, like those Bluetooth earpieces where periodically you, it'll come out and talk about how bad it is for you to wear and yeah. not to use and radiation. And then you still have a lot. I mean, part of it is you don't see as many people using Bluetooth earpieces. Because they get what they've done. The government, okay, the, the government picks sides in every issue. The government right now is trying to push Obamacare because they're trying to push Obamacare. They're trying to force restaurants to be shut down. They're trying to force you to not eat, not use microwaves. They want you to set, they want you to, you know, to go buy your food from South America or from China. Or, you know, yeah, I mean, here's part of it. It's like the Bluetooth earpieces, that was convenience. Microwaves are part of convenience, but I think microwaves are really part of culture. Yeah, but, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I am, um, like I said, my mother's been in a restaurant business. Actually, my mother's been in for 70 some years. She was, you know, we, we go back a long time. Um, you know, almost like the acting thing. I, mean, I grew up underneath a, I actually literally grew up underneath a, a counter in a restaurant until I got old enough to be put in a table. Well, you couldn't fit underneath it before. I got, my <laughs> brother, you fit my, my counter, brother and I got too big to sit under the counter, mm -hmm. so my, they put us in booths then. Mm -hmm. But it would only be a booth that wasn't being used when we got used to have to figure out. You, you know what we, junk food was? We knew what junk food was. Because anything that nobody would, anything that nobody wanted to eat or drink, we got it. So, and they said, well, my God, you know, you, you're pretty fit for a person that, okay, here's the bit. Everybody that is fairly fit will tell you they were fat babies. Oh, yeah. My mother was in a restaurant business, folks. And when you're killing hours waiting for your father to come pick you up because he's working. You eat. You get the french fries, you get the hamburgers, you get the malts. You know, all of that stuff, so. We no spo eat. Yeah, no spoiling your dinner. You were eating oh, all yeah. day. But then, yeah, no, but then we'd go back and then we'd eat a dinner or two, so we'd eat more. We'd eat all, yeah, all evening long we'd eat, but um, they're trying to kill the microwave business because as they announced this morning, only the wealthy in this nation, those people, those millionaires and billionaires are the only ones eating well. Because they can actually afford to buy the food that's being grown in South America and China and Asia, mm -hmm. you know, and they, you know, the stuff that is not in season most of the year, they can afford to buy it, mm -hmm. uh, which is sort of ridiculous because the people that they're wanting to, to, to feed the stuff to can't afford to buy the stuff no matter what. It's too high, but uh, but they're gonna do. They're, they're kicking. Now, the bit came out this morning. Is microwave radiation dangerous? Well, they used to talk about it all the time. They used to say, "Don't stand in front of the microwave when it's cooking." Yeah. Okay. But, but when my mother first got a microwave, you could put a 25-pound turkey in the thing, and all they knew was that you stick it in it, and you you basically they didn't have turntables that time, so. They say, well, stick it in it, you got to turn it every so. So they just basically go like that. You know, and then they'd have some guy, and they wouldn't turn the microwave. They didn't have the um, doors that open, you know, when you open the door, it went off. No, the microwave would still be on, they'd go like that with it. And they. Mm -hmm. uh, that now that's the main danger of the microwave. Yeah, you're very hot. But uh, they said there are two, uh, basically, what makes microwaves so effective is that radio waves they emit have the ability to pass through paper, plastic, and glass while being absorbed by food. The radio waves used by microwaves, as with any device that use radio waves, produces a type of radiation. However, as scary as that may sound, it doesn't necessarily mean that your food is radioactive after you've heated it up. 
See, they're really trying to scare the hell out of the American public. I know. They open it up about radiation dangers, and then, well, that doesn't necessarily mean it's dangerous. I know. Where did this one came from the government? No, oh, this was from the government this morning. I got this. I thought this was a, actually it came last night because I knew they were going to make the announcement today that billionaire, millionaires and billionaires are, are, have a healthier eating style because they have money and access to food that the uh, other people don't have in our country. But they normally have access to food other people don't have. It, it, it doesn't make any difference. Okay, I am not going to have access to agave grapes. Period. Because we don't shop in stores where those things, you know, you go like, the, you're not going to find those things in bonds. You're not going to find a lot of the healthy things in, in uh, you know, in a Ralph's that you're going to find over in a... Bristol Farms. Bristol Farms and other... Whole Foods. Foods. Yeah. And, and the people that basically, you know, the people, the working class people don't go into those places. Which is why they're small. So... <laughs> But uh, there are two types of radiation, ionizing and non-ionizing. Ionizing radiation, the kind of radiation that you come into contact when you have an x-ray, are the types that are used in nuclear power plants. This type of radiation can be dangerous if you receive large doses of it because its ability has to change your DNA and damage your body. It can cause cancer to occur in your cells and birth protects if you're pregnant. But microwaves produce non-ionizing Non-ionizing radiation doesn't have the power to change your DNA, and it's not as dangerous as ionizing radiation. How doesn't mean you shouldn't be careful. Well, basically, you don't set the microwave in the middle of your lap when you're using it. You don't. Microwaves are generally not put where you can get radiation from. Them. Well, and how many people stand in front of the microwave the entire time? Oh, they sit there. Oh, look at that. You're yeah. watching it. I mean, you might kill them. Look okay. at it. The trick is they have buttons on microwaves today. You just put it on a time you walk off and leave it. Which is what most people do. And probably, but my guess is I'll, people use microwaves for two two main things, which is what I use it for, which is to heat up water slash beverages yeah. or reheat food. That's right. It's you know, and in the office people use it for overheat oh, lunch and make yeah. popcorn and. Let's see, they have a coffee machine, they have hot water. Uh, that would basically produce as much. Okay, put it this, you, the cell phones radiation. you walk around with produce more radiation than a microwave machine. Your wristwatch with this radiated dial produces more radiation than a microwave machine. Really? Uh, that will produce more radiation because they got, okay, your, cell phone, your wristwatch is covered with uranium to make it glow. Mm. So, but... Uh, uh, but the leakage of microradiation is strictly enforced by the Food and Drug Administration, which basically the Republicans want to put out of business because millionaires and billionaires don't want them to be in business. And manufacturers have to prove the microwave only leaks only a minuscule amount of radiation. However, if your microwave is falling, uh, basically you're at risk. They, they actually have the power to burn human tissue and eye. Um, that happens a lot, folks. Um, okay, I, as you notice, I, I mean, I just I have this over the side. It's been sitting over the side for a while because I, I put it in for one minute, you know, and it got really hot. Well, you know, here's part of it is, you know, they always just tell you, don't put your hand on a hot stove. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> here's some things that will help you on a microwave is use microwave dishes or use mitts just like you would use if you took something out of an oven. Oh, it's just, okay. I mean, okay. I mean, isn't that common sense? Or the same person that would not use a mitt to get something out of the oven will not use a mitt to get something out of a microwave. Okay. And you learn through time that different mugs that you put in the microwave, some of them, the handles yeah. will heat up and some won't. Oh, yeah. This so, one basically, uh, you know, uh, a plastic handle, I think, will burn the hell out of you and heat up as much. <laughs> But, uh, but, you know, you learn. And if in doubt, use a mitt. Okay, uh, here's one, you know, it's important that children follow this rule that you should stand directly against your microwave when you're heating a spoon. Okay, you gotta go like this when you're, okay, mm, I'm heating it up. I don't think you do. Everybody I know, even if they put it on, they, even if they put it on, you know, like, hey, for warming up our drinks, they go off and leave the thing. They don't stand there, you know, hey, I, I can, I, I'll give you a hint too. Modern microwaves, like um, hers is older microwave. Mine is brand new. If I put it on, say I'm, I'm making a pasta dish, I can put it, it has to run for 15 minutes. Uh, mine will shut off at, at intervals if I, if I push the button. You know, it, it says you got to shut it off uh, 5, 10, and 5 and 10, you just push it, and it shuts off at 5 minutes. You come and stir it. You put it back in, push the start, and then five minutes later it stops again. 
and then you stir it again, and um, that's how it works. See, I need but, a new microwave. But here's one of the more stupid things. I mean, what's that? If you turn your microwave, maybe leaking radiation. <clears throat> take your stop using it and take it to your government officials, and they can check it out. It's called. They don't cost anything. You throw the thing away. I mean, part of it is it's like you can get a microwave for it, but if you buy it at the right time, you can get a cheap one for forty dollars. Yeah, I mean, I got. Or you can spend. Well, depending, I think what's the most expensive okay. microwave you see like seven hundred dollars. Okay, I, with, with a convection oven and all sorts yeah, of things. Because I have, I I have my old microwave in the box for my new microwave, and the problem is because they're hazardous waste, you can't just put them out and throw them away. So you got to. I have since I don't go anywhere near the hazardous waste place, and they charge you money to do that stuff nowadays too. I pay five dollars to go dispose of my microwave. I can just use it as a as a rack to put books on top of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, the majority of microwaves that check for leakers turn out to be harmless, though. So that's a good one, which means you basically wasted everybody's time. Yeah, I can just imagine them going, what, you want us to test your microwave? Yeah, uh oh. The question of whether microwave popcorn raises cancer is in the news. This stems from the uh, legal case involving a worker in a microwave popcorn factor who developed a potentially deadly lung disease similar to cancer. Unfortunately, there was no evidence to the fact that that ever happened. The lung disease the factory's worker would cause the fact that he had large amounts of chemical called. Uh, it's the stuff salt. they used to make the buttery popcorn. Yeah, basically they didn't use butter. The mass majority of the popcorn eating people don't care nearly enough to bother with them. Here he is. He can talk about the real danger, which we've actually been talking about. Which is superheating. Well, you know, part of it is when you take. Oh, okay. Here, here's the thing, guys. Remember. The steamers, you know, those vegetables, which I absolutely love. Same thing with microwave popcorn. Is you put it in the microwave, it tells you how long, right? Yeah. So you take it, you take it out. Do, okay, here's your first clue on super eating. Do not open the bag with your face above it. Yeah. <laughs> okay? And I know that may sound really silly, but there's a reason why it tells you on the microwave instructions, right? It's to let it sit for a oh, minute yeah. before um, you open it. And here's a, a picture. <laughs> We're going to do something, you know, we'll get one of these ready because it's okay. Here's one of the things you do not do when you get, you pull it, you pull your drink directly out of the, the microwave. It says never put anything in it immediately after you've done it because it, it so what do they said that? Uh, uh, often you, you have a microwave a cup of water to make yourself a quick cup of coffee only to have the water boil over. Once you add anything to it, it's called superheating. This actually is the catalyst to cause it to boil over. Mm. You don't realize the water is as warm as it is. God, well, actually, I, oh, well, because, God. What? You can see the steam coming well, off this Well, because this is thing. really hot. You put in something that's colder. Uh, and when it causes it to go boom, it's the same thing as if I got, um, um, you know, if I... If I put an ice cube in it, it's going to go boom. This is what happens. This is colder than the surrounding area, which just causes an explosion to happen. People get burned badly by that little nonsense, too. So, um, I can basically, uh, uh, if you need to heat liquids in the microwave, leave a microwave spoof standing in the cup at the time. See, if you could, you could actually, that's hot. You can get one of these things that is not metal. And you can do a plastic thing and put it in there. So, and don't, folks, don't put your tea bags, well, don't, don't stick it, and we'll go show them. See this tea bag? They said a lot of people will sit there and leave their tea bags in it. Uh, there's a metal, there's a little, uh, a little staple on that. There's a bag. staple right here. And there's a staple at the beginning, and guess what happens? What, they tell you don't put metal in the microwaves? Yeah, basically, it, you basically what happens is uh, you can basically then, Grab the little piece of metal. Yeah, but see, here's part of it. You're not supposed to put that on the microwave. I know, but, but okay, with tea bags, how many of you are guilty of putting a tea bag um, that might have little staples in it in the microwave? Yeah. I think most people do. Yeah, but uh, they also said that the hit, the real hidden danger is they don't use microwave. <laughs> they love it. What are microwaves mostly used for? Cooking. Reheating. Yeah, but they use it to, to make uh, stuff for drinks. Right. So don't do that. They warn you against doing what the microwave is designed to do. There's a beverage setting. They warn you not to do it, though, because he said that too many people use the microwave to heat water. 